Okay. And last time we were left to boss fight. Ouch. Cubs play. Die in disgrace. God Emperor, move through me. She might have a power arm, but she still needs a. Uh, A bit of cover, please. Okay, that was pretty na nice. 30 points of damage, yes, please. Okay, run and gun. Can't get too far. Faith without deeds is worthless. I'll do it. Claim the bounty. Is a prayer. They are exploding quite satisfying. Let's pray a bit. <laughs> okay, we can we get a there's lots of snipers around. Un unless there's like second turn. He's not going to leave long. It's as good as done. Okay, move, move, move. Hey, he has a Melda gun, so of course I'm pushing him forward. Victory is imminent. One of, one of our strike. glory horns. Okay, more of them. Ouch. Okay, it's going down. Yeah, it's, it's going down. Is that was a battle place? Place to <laughs> we are going to shoot up. But okay, that's a monolith. I think that's a necro monolith. Definitely a monolith. So what it was it? What it is doing? There's no waste time with pleasantries. So what's the Inquisitor doing with the... Uh, monolith? Okay. Reality bubbles you before you are burst into agonizing streak. Rightless reflection. Emperor best of strength upon me to smite ye a of as I carry out your will. Merciful. If you are sentient creatures and not mere Adolon sizes, you back down without fight. I did not came here came here to claim your lives. My master, Changer of E, is this your making? No, I can't feel it is not. Not playing things on me, you're sending me a prey of great sacrifice. Your fate seems to be so stronger than us all combined. Remember to, uh, who, in whose name the sacred variant has, was granted. Remember by ho whose hand I am ordained to exist. I believe and my fate is a bright light driving back at the darkness. But your fate is cold embers. When I look at you I feel sh ashamed of myself.
So one of you, my version, is going to serve the arch enemy. Did not serve. I rain. You crawl. Master requests a sacrifice, a living sacrifice. Toss them into a barb. Where did you come to Epitaph? My master directed me here and revealed my destiny. This, this is where I'm fated to become one with the warp. Wonder at what point your soul was dead by heresy. The day could not avoid me, wounded me with a cursed blade. There I started hearing voices. This is a very interesting, but shut up. I've just realized I have not given you spiritual fortitude the credit deserves at Vader. Peaceful copy. I do not enjoy pointless violence. Power and authority can always be used to more worthy purpose. Well, almost always. Unfortunately, sometimes violence does have a point. But it gives me a little pressure, even then. So, what brings you the most dangerous place? Duty. I don't know what exactly what Xavier has in mind, but judging by his past actions, it will be ambitious and terrible. He must be stopped. I'm failing my tests here. Nervously clutches the old shaped talisman at his beast. You do not possess such an item. Why do you care? They're the last verse protect my people. It has less blood shit than yours. <laughs> we shall fight. I sense your soul's greedy interest in what's hidden in this script. I'm afraid we have no choice but to fight. Okay. He sees merciful, but he still wants to fight, right? I see we are outnumbered compared to you. Join forces. The Emperor is with me and that means you are going to fall. Indeed. Rogue traders are doomed forever to be with me, not one and an another. An He's pretty powerful. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone. I need a foothold.
Naturally. Ah, he's dodging. But of course, Lord Captain. Okay, they are coming. Nothing stands against me. Yeah, we are. Yeah. It's it's going to hand-to-hand -hand combat. I have only two guns, so no, nothing. Okay, Pascal is down. Oh no. Let my enemies tremble at the sound of my steps. My place is at the fall. It's not my worst day. Oh, yes. That's not the Seneschal's job. Reduce the dust. <laughs> he killed his doppelganger. Hello, boys and girls. Oh no, oh no, oh no. As the Emperor commands, I act. Dare leave us now. Why I was chosen. I'll do it. Guided by faith. I wonder if I can raise the Raise, raise my friends with the... Uh... Okay, he parried. Oh no. Okay, she's almost taking down my double gangers. Both merciful and heretic. But this is hilarious, basically. In fury. Idira. Oh, well, Argenta probably likes to kill Idira. Now that I think of it, they are not in the best terms. Okay, she's down. Only righteous reflection left. He took down Space Marine. Well, in the end, I did take down several Chaos Space Marines, so that's fair, I guess. Three hundred sixty-one. Well, that's he heavy bolter. Okay, so what happened is that huge amount of bonuses that stack up and make critical chance so go so through the roof, so that's what what happened. Oh no. That looked like it. You fight like a pop! Let us not dawdle. Take blight. I always keep my options open. 
Tell me a pain won't stop me. Centuries of service and practice. I always have a backup plan. Rise okay. to the top, Give me a or go left here. in the dust. Maybe it's the Plague's Necron weapon, because they have fought Eldari be before, like long, long, long time ago. Okay. These people seem to be Imperials. Servantson. And here's the Kalgazar. I see the, you did not heed my warnings. Your decision to come here in spite of them have consequences. But we still have a chance to turn it everyone's advantage. If your lordship listens to me very carefully. With your due respect to you, Lord Inquisitor, I shall ask you to refrain from any further threats directed toward the blessed rogue trader, lest you fear repercussions from me. How conscious of you to warn me, Master Vesterin, I will remember your verse. Master Van Kallax, I'm pleased to see you. How was your journey? Illuminating. Her next stone would have frozen anyone solid but not Kalkasar. The line you are trading is dangerous, Van Kalkas. Stop this madness. You are the one who's attempting something mad and dangerous, by acting with insolence towards me. But the Emperor wake up or not, I'm no mood to couple with the rogue trader. Not even with your recently entitled lordship. Point that Xeno construct. Is that what you are here for? What is it? We call it a shard. <coughs> and yes, as you have noted pre quite aptly, it's the reason I am here. This contract contains ancient, or rather pre ancient being of cosmic power. They were co called the Satan. Oh no! Yeah, Dragon of the Mars. I called it. The entity is currently trying to escape, and I'm here to color it. I see ambitions are on truly cosmic scale. I'm not the on in this for my own sake. Doing my duty, as what a scale, do you know what ensures the indomitability of every member of the Inquisition? To acknowledge that they are personally responsible for survival of the Imperium. And what, what th that the fate of billions hangs on their actions. Do you understand? Personally responsible compared to that scale. Do you think I am daunted by the gravity of this mission? Uh, okay, so he might have a point here. Uh, because Satan uh, escaping, that's 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 cosmically bad bad thing. And there have been like couple couple times that it has been like this close. For example... Only good, good ultramarine <laughs> once faced off with with uh, with uh, Satan. But yeah, uh, Emperor actually shackled one shot of the, uh, Satan uh, at at the Mars. So the ma yeah, Omnisaya is actually Satan. So yeah, it's it has been kind of, kind of responsible of the inventiveness of the. Mars priesthood. How tame this creature helps to save the Imperium. With the hundreds of my years of service, I have come to realize the main problem that humanity faces. It is very imbalance of power. Our opponents are not races or nations, but incorruptible monsters, and it's high time we acquired one of our own. Okay, that's bad. My joke will point this creature and make it change to God serving the Emperor. Now he's crazy. 
<laughs> no, this is just crazy. Not going to work. I know on, only Emperor have, have ever enslaved the Shard of Shaitan. Uh, so that's cosmically bad idea. That's not the full extent of my mission. The other shards similar to this one. Okay, scatter the galaxy. I plan on seeking them out and confining them all inside the yoke. So he's planning to gather all shards together. That's cosmically bad idea. Operation Persia sentence is in final stages. The increase of Xenoshaft is vexing your trivial development in grand scheme of things. Theodora's research is the Astila Shark Prison and Project Ornament Verse destabilized. Uh, whatever particles the Satan Shard is energy see about, may curious phenomena occur. The destruction of the crypt, the warp reality, when I tame the monster, I will order it to stop. Disturbing laws of the universe. This is cosmically bad idea. And that brings us to the most interesting part of the conversation. You know my plan. So now I want to know yours. Will you admit that I am right and join me in this undeniably ambitious act? Or you try to stop me? I'll be up front with you. If it's the latter, I will be forced to remove you. But I'm sure you realize that already. That's the second time you have threatened the Lord Captain. Listen to yourself. You are, what you are planning is heresy. And if I come not, it will be only the heresy if I lose. Uh, if I prevail, if he triumphant feet the name of saving humanity from the horrors of this universe, and I will not lose. I will not let you bring this insane to fruit. The Heinrich's element, the rope trader. Heinrich, he has gone mad. You don't have to listen to him. I longer, no longer recognize your authority, Lord Inquisitor. My apologies. It's a good thing we actually uh, did his companion mission. In that case, Kendrick's for Galaxy Internet Emperor. I hereby revoke your inquisitor of privileges and declare ex community territories. The punishment of your heresy is death. I bid you farewell. Farewell then. Eliminate the rogue trader. Okay, we Our foes ring the darkness. Instincts tell me to refuse. I mean, it's dodging. Dodge this. Yep, that will slow him down. I challenge you, damn it. So my hand is thunder. My strike is ruin. None can do Rain. The fame hungry come. Here we go. Mystic. Okay, that's a sucker. Presents. Okay. For a warning. Okay. That's not good. For a boarding. Oh no, he's now Let's he's dodging. Naturally. Dodge. Let's see to it. Okay, he's pretty good. Word of the Emperor. For the throne's glory. Let's make it quick. Hold on. Grey hair. Sure hand. Okay, these, these are pretty fast and they act several times in a in a turn. Dodge. Okay, he's Okay. 
<laughs> I suffered first. Okay, he's he's Hendrix needs heal healed. Ouch. Tactically sound approach. It will be done. Okay, can't can't move. But I can fire! I refuse. On it. I missed on all. I'll make it happen. Who if not? Hendrix's almost dead. Okay, he's down. Too bad. But again, that's getting damaged as well. Crown slam, okay. Out of my way. Take the beach down. I hope it Yeah, Space Marine kick is very powerful. He has so great dodge <laughs> that hit. And all, only three shots show. Guided by faith. As the Emperor commands, I act. Faith without deeds is worthless. He's taking damage. Sworn enemy. Let's make it quick. Okay, he's down. We need to... Yeah, he's down. We need to deal with this henchman. Okay. No. It is too early. The yoke must be activated. Or all is lost. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, this is cosmically bad.
Stop the third Satan shard! Oh no! This is cosmically bad, bad thing. Okay, I don't think we are going to go to close combat with that that thing. Everyone can see that's our that's our objective. Okay. Eroding shard copy. Okay, so it's our eroding. So it shall be. A fleeting moment of integrity. Cause play. The fame hungry come. Okay, they are weak against uh, close combat attacks. Let's kick it. Okay. Okay, Appelard will deal deal with this. My place is at the fall. At your beck and call. Good thing he had this super sword. Glory hound. Yeah, definitely. Okay, what what it, is it doing? Okay. Taking a nap or something. A rapid fire. I think it's my okay in Chiaro. Okay, what's that? Energy orb. Disintegrating shard copy, okay, energy orb. As the Emperor commands, use my Emperor! I won't stand for it. I won't compromise my principles. Okay, can't use that. My gut tells me it's a bad idea. On it. Th that might explode. Best in some dimensional blow. Okay. Oh no. Okay, we lo just lost people. I wonder when we have last <laughs> saved. Now that I think about it, it was before last fight. At your beck and call. I'll make it happen. It is a taste of what's to come. What is happening? Take the big victim's place. Oh no. I'm not going to take him his place, but I'm going to heal him. Alas, no. Stop it! 
structuring shard copy. Uh, it's it's getting somehow power from those copies. Or some some Faith such deeds is worthless. Fence. That was pretty wizard. <laughs> Epic battle. Manacles of the yoke. It's impossible powers make the reality it's a burst that seems are now being forced into a compact dungeon. Quark, quark, quark. Returning it to a cruel and painful non existence in the moment. You are the cause of the hindrance. Only knows that Satan shall turn in its focus to you. But the battle, it was nothing more than a reflective resistance of an alien mind absorbed by a completely different range of thoughts and responses. But now it's thinking about you uh, and its thoughts are so corporeal you can sense them and know them. It takes an end, end of confrontation. It's capable of resolving it in a way that would benefit all. More and more tears appear over the shade's form. As the yoke absorbs its power, it becomes increasingly harder for the shard to maintain its physical structure. Its infraction of you be inflict being brings the star predator closer to imprisonment. Theodora. So another layer of loyalty cracks. A figure appears before you. Her. After giving you a propping and pricing look, Theodora permits herself to a slight slide. <laughs> the Yoke cleaned it before the ancient deity. Okay. Deliver a final ball. I consign to oblivion without end monster. The cookie tether box that was designed to transmit orders to imprison Zeta and shatters to into pieces. The weapon no longer married a prison. Okay. The Satan shard was destroyed. Shadow Calamity threatening Chronos expansion. Should the ancient god be ever be unshackled have been lifted at least for a time. Gazing upon the drained and crippled worlds, Rogue Trader saw the innumerable opportunities for the growth of his dynasty. But the ashes of decades of relative power and ambitious power was set to rise. Pulled between words, various forces that were dispersed to control the rock trader, his lordship managed to walk the fine line between his fanaticism, heresy, and becoming a heartless monster. Each force was uh, either an ally or an enemy, but none was his master. Mekovan Nathan Valencius served only himself and his dynasty, everything else was either a resource or a trophy. Having lost uh, its leader, lacking worthy successor, the corner's dynasty began to weaken. The grim legacy of the abominable Aspire revealed itself. The protectorate fell into chaos. Caspian Clamant tore the defenseless Demesne apart. The era of Calico's cruelty and wrath came to end. Only when the many terrified witnesses his vile crimes stepped forward to recount them. Memories of good, prosperous years of protectorate on the vice rule of Calico's winter scale were eclipsed by the legacy of his inimitable bloody, bloody crimes. 
Evan Winterskir underwent an Magnei Assessio and became his dynasty's new rogue trader. Many said that noble Evain lacked the firmness of judgment, yet he had more than enough trust, even in those who were unworthy of it. The young rogue trader did not forget those who had saved him from the Rikard system. Oh yeah, that guy! Or the favor, favors the ones when Vanessa had pissed off on the winter scales. The cult of Saint Drusus continued to struggle to spread the faith about the around the expanse and expose the wild transgressions of the authorities. The stronger and wealthier planet was the loyalty rulers wanted to see the black clad preachers, but Sanas and the pushed the god to a place where it more, felt most confident the frontier. Hieromus Dolores remained the most revered priest of the cult, cult of Saint Drusus. He turned no one away, hearing confession pilots, built rats, deserters, and break beggars alike. He might have been one of those undeserving wretches who infected him with a rare leprosy that robs him from his sight. Yet his herd could always see corruption in the souls of repenting children. In the following years, the Connaissance fleet solely and deliberately left the explode systems of the Expanse for the first remote regions. Observation stations claimed the worlds were abandoned, even Euphrates too became derelict. Statistical divination wanted fleets conclave of crime events waiting in the Expanse, yet and they decided to deliver their fellows the coming storm, yet they did not share the truth with the lay people. The schism of Skirtis continuing and Psycho engulfed the entire Conscience fleet, so civil war was, uh, was over. Disregarding commandment of their forefathers, the explorers started down the dangerous path of new comprehensive creation and revision of procedures and algorithms. The fleet was united once more, and its unity it was ready to share, stare down many hor any horrors standing in the way of catechism, catechism of maintenance and operation. The crisis in the expand dealt a serious blow to the business interest of the Fellowship of the Void. With no powerful allies, they retreated in the darkness of frontier systems. The hard life they faced, they forced them into a new tribe, fierce wild, and willing to do anything for survival. They swore to return and retake what had once been theirs. At many years, all three are presented over captains of Fellowship. At the end of her life, she took, once again took her helm of ship and led the unprecedented attack on the mother squadron of the Connaissance fleet, during which the attack has managed to see a dozen transport ship loaded with homicide sacred gifts. Violence throughout the expanse put many of on their guard. As a result, Kasipalaga Minsian's business declined, so the rumors surfaced among the gold traders about the so-called commission that made it through the moor and into expanse. His pur professed purpose was to audit assets and take measures to restructure operations. <laughs> okay, these birds carried with them an on ominous threat. Planning in Tokara leads of footfall, survived 14 assassination attempts and thought no less than 2,000 schemes. We were so shot finally took his life. This team leads funeral was had great secrecy with only his ghost's entourage, primitive to be his corpse. Which spawned so peculiar rumors. Very Naomi was very of the rise of von Valencius. They saw themselves as dogs guarding the flock of Emperor's subjects. There was a new master of the pack. Therefore, the dynasty was watched with utmost diligence and admirers feared that one day they would have to go to war against Rogue Trader. Cardiff's captain Astros Torvast founded the Torvast and Company's merchant company excelling the trade and acquiring substantial ex escort fleet. After the three decades he travelled to the moor and returned to the Imperium in hopes of obtaining a viable variant of trade. It's not know how the, this venture ended. Dragoners continued to grow, grow two decades until the terrifying rebellion put a, a decisive end to its proper, uh, prosperity. Uh, Kinetic Amatima Consens Kinesis Tila called infiltrated the hives of dragoners and tried to take over the world. Minas were exterminated in the purchase and street battles destroyed many lives, setting, setting, setting dragoners back centuries and depriving it a chance to become a capital of the expanse. Okay. Kiavakama was of the stain of its former defilement and became you know, a pious and productive world, hard working and inquisitive study of the mysteries of Tenusi, glorified 
to the Deus Mechanicus. Okay, so that actually worked out well. Kiwakama crew and new manufacturers were founded until disturbing reports started to occur many years later. Okay. It seems that someone has secretly taken control of the colony, starting a tangled conspiracy. Now the esquires of threats of tech beast execution helped. Someone in the shadows was weaving their web and making secret plans. Mystery Xeno Animalist Blake Janus for many years. Ghost of inhumans who had controlled the planet continued to the land. The surf suffered from strength maladies, agri complex explains it struck by blight and famine. Servants of Rogue Trader feared the castle planet and sought to be brand transport of the filthy Akaran colony at the first opportunity. Five years after the Epitaph campaign, Vepos 6 died out as a result of an unknown source scores that from, came from beneath the ground. Convicts and overseas were poisoned, mangled, or just disappeared. However, the late barracks were quickly repopulated. For there is no shortage of outcasts and criminals in the expanse. Fallstone crew and continued to draw believers to it under enlightened rule of rogue trader. As not every, every soul among them was a pure, preacher for the decadent impredators of imperial creed, false prophets, and madmen also came, hoping to find a flock of holy word, fighting dangerous heresies like a Neomalpian sect led to the regular party purchases. The third false uh, cream reputation. After recovering the, from Quarter Street team, Football reclaimed its status as a trading hub of the expanse. Having relearned to preterrorists and Vladim Tokara created the Footfall's Partisan's Militia, a very acute mercenary army that answered only to him, and a most medium of order returned to station. Left without sun, regard system ceased to exist. Well, Dao. It's now free planets spun away in the darkness, no longer held by gravity's from pool of the star. Century later, fragment of Rickard Minerals entered the Furibundi system and was snarled by void miners. Piece of it rocks was delivered to footfall with the remnants of used the restoration of the God Emperor statue, final memorial to the world devoured by corruption. With the fall of on of their unholy patron edge of the daybreak, the cult of Final Dawn perished that as well. Every cell of the cult was hunted down and eliminated. Rumors that some worshippers of ruinous powers help had managed to get away, hiding the writings of their were banished lord under the ropes were baseless. I wonder. Left without mission or leader, word bearers retreated the depths in Materium. The last act of vengeance was bloody assault on footfall. The populace of several asteroids was exterminated or enslaved, and the statue of God Emperor was badly damaged. Rumors of the rotting remains of elderly crafters spread around the expanse. Exploration privateers, Casabalica agents, and anyone hungry for easy money all rushed to the frontier system to be a piece of the prize. Some were sallowed by the warp, while others perished the skirmishes with their rivals. The most killed and unfortunate returned empty-handed after decades of searching. The colossal ship as big as Imperial World simply vanished, as it, if it had never existed. But the legend of Warpit and the treasure lived on to continue to bring daring souls to ruin. Eldari from Fallen Craft Earth, Kudarak once more devoured to the darkness of Expanse, desperate attempt to gather the remains of their kind way Pokemon in a rare sight. Even the most skillful Karsapalika agents and other body hunters with knowledge of Xenos settlements at the edges of expansion could no longer find their trail. Squads of Elder and the Rangers su suddenly appeared on different lures and disappeared abruptly with a shedding a drop of blood. The purpose remained an enigma. The spirit monolith purified the Harlequin trope on the crown world was hidden from the insatiable eyes of the monkey by ravaging warp storms. Okay. Ships started going missing more frequently in the systems close to the planet. Even the most courageous captain gave, gave the region a wide berth, and it was named Dam Dam Damned Reefs. Somewhere on the side of reality lay Gomorra, woven from manifold of other dimensions, and illuminated as always light of stolen suns. Its streets ever filled with the screams and agony, and a misfortune experienced by the dark city became another scar. Its appalling face lost among thousands of wild blemishes.
As long as pain pulls the blood of spiders, the insatiable and unshakable Komora continued to fly through the web bay along with his unchanging ruler, leader of the cabal of the Black Heart, Astrobel Vect. The fall of the cabal of Reaming Tempest united Komora in a for, for a brief, brief and bloody moment. The elites of the Dark City set their squabbles aside and found a new game in tearing apart the domain of Archon Yemerus. The fate of Reaving Tempest reminded top of other capals that nothing would last forever in the Dark City, save the city itself. The dimension of gate leading to the Necron Tomb was sealed. The soul knew what transpired on the other side. Now and then rumors rankled came from fringes of the system settled by humanity. Rumors of sickle shaped ships that appeared and disappeared suddenly without showing any signs of hostility yet. The Vox, uh, voice of Voxmaster Vigdis, Vigdis Suriota of the Tolman dynasty was long heard in the Coros Expanse, trumpeting the arrival of the Rogue Trader. It brought glad tidings to the faithful and steered horror into heretics and inviting righteous retribution. After her death, Vigdis was granted the honor of the being immortalized in a herald servo skull. For many centuries to come, her voice praised the one balance of dynasty transmitting orders across, across the text. That's good, I think. Master Hamster of Ravel diligently executes his duties until his dying day without once succumbing sleep sweet. Embrace. Only when a piece of shell penetrated the bridge armored hall, was stopped by the turn officer's unyielding chest, did the Hivani no rest, leaning against his trusty helm. Many years later, Harry Factum Chinese Dan Rock showed permission to retire. He said that age has softened his heart, that more worthy young assertive successors should take over his position. There was no shortage of candidates. Under all that fat, Dan has sentimental heart, spared nothing uh, to, for the orphans for, of those who had died in serving road trader. The children were given excellent education and were eager to serve for the Montalasi dynasty. Urban drives them cared about preserving the influence of his line and well-being of the protectorate. Well, yeah. His blind ambition lost his governor seat and the respect of his family. Within few generations, one of the largest houses of Dragonus turned the obscure family of petty aristocrats. Gloria and Capra missed the moment of when her family, which has previously functional like well-oiled machine, started to fall apart, racked by infighting. Among her distant relatives, many played Toriana for the Kiavakama disaster. Soon the Caprak family splintered into warring factions, spent centuries locked in a violent struggle, only occasionally punctuated few talents to reunite the house. Macarius Sauerbrack was loyal to the Rogue Trader to the last, despite the, all the rumors of the contrary. Finding little affection among his subjects or family, he stayed true to him, himself remaining forthright, severe and pious person. Macarius tried to ensure that every soul whose charge felt justified dread be of both him and God Emperor. Members of House Verseria saved the dynasty faithfully and loyally amassing more and more power. Century later, they had finally gained the respect enjoyed by other noble houses. <laughs> Century later. Okay, yet powerful and luxury can duel to any place. The now pampered and idle Astrocast was scarcely recognizable as a descendant of the formidable, formidable Senesal Vesarian. Clementia Vesarian, daughter of Abelard and Chancellor of Dragonus, executed her duties irreparably and even found time to school the younger Senelaces of her family. She was an equally skilled mentor, chancellor, and political operative. At the century Immaculate Service, she surprised everyone by leaving her position and becoming the first mate of a, on a trade ship. She would later admit, like a true Vesarian, that she had always had a passion for ships and void fairing. Branches of the horses, Caprak and Vesarian began intertwined for time after marriage of Astarte and Vincent. The great sadness to the couple of the great amusement of the spiteful dragon's nobility, their mar marriage pro produced no children. Just like her ancestors, Astarte and Vesarian Caprak decided her life to service. Because by the events that took the stability of his house and his inability to pro provide an heir, Vincent left his wife's shadow. When his time came, he passed away without notice. 
To Harlequin Conan's Nocturne of Oblivion, visited the Expanse once again, sneaking into Dragonus he came to the Rogue Trader's Palace and left him a special gift, a case of Eldradic drafting, and a mistake of the ancient and precious adorned with the rune of an eye inside a triangle. Only the Lord Captain knew what it contained. The Harlequin candidate warned him that he was drawing the Lon Vanasty Dynasty deadly dance, a shaking doom that all will freeze within the threads of terror's loom. Then he promptly departed and not without reason. A few hours later, assassins from Draghi city appeared, following his trail, and were mercilessly killed. Their armor bore a sign of the Cabal of the Black Heart. After months of searching, Dragonus wanders found the remains of Achilles Calander on the lowest levels of Hive. To carry artifacts and records discovered beside him, okay, indicated that the ancient of Inquisition had been compromised and was working for the Xenos. Well, that explains. When the great cult of Fatal Trust punished everyone who had killed the Grove Trader, the trader known as Commissar survived against the old roads. Oh no. Making desk get pickable deals and buying his own life with the lives of others. He found new benefactors, many more subjects of the God Emperor, who had misfortune finding themselves in the Dark City, being victims of his mild manipulations. The savage deeds of the Gorodays cut off. Who was that? Witnessed the footfall, traumatized him over. Ah, he, he was the actor. His architectural genius was shattered. The only collections of true connoisseurs held his work. Then shady hat. Footfall, the ultimate voice station and mortuary. Upper Lord Verserian remained Lord Captain Senesal at right hand until his dying breath. House Verserian cleared the accusations of Mutini, decided it itself the Dragon's fleet, then years later Apollard left his, this word. The first successor of his family received the honor of inheriting the highest official office of Senesal. Having completed his death journey with his Lord Captain, Apollard Verserian the gracious permission of Rogue Trader left its boat posed as Senesal and took over the helm of his large family. As Peserion rose above his rivals, I was never again target of persecution. Even after the team, Patriarch died in the decades later in his bed surrounded by his grief loving loved ones. I think these panels are in slightly bit out of the order. Just notice it. A large shining memory was blighted by the ru rumors of the creeping madness uh, in the twilight of his life. Many said they had seen the esteemed Senesal talk talking to someone unseen. Ah, uh, the voice built with tears of tenderness and sorrow. Okay, so he was mad. Still. Well, well then again, this end, end of these panels is about, about my companions. After the victory of Epitaph, Argentar left the rope trader. Insensible flame burned through, burned brighter and brighter in her soul, hungry for vengeance, and so the system embarked her own personal crusade. At first, he hunted down next to the remaining followers of the Fine and Dawn, then she burst to shoot those who had abated them, then everyone who had she had saw a hint of heresy. Okay, that's a battle, sister. Even when she directed her wrath against the other cities, no power could stop Argenta clad in her sacred armor. She left the trail of fire and blood across the expanse, trail that ended on Sally's prime. No one knows why the sister returned for a third time to the planet where she had found her relic, but after descending into its service, she mysteriously vanished. The American took Tapula official and unlocked the sea of possibilities to J. Heydari. She left the Casapalika mission and became an independent agent, causing one's destiny as a new gift that ordinary mortals would never dare dream of. But Jay was no ordinary mortal. She found new friends, skillful dance along, knife edge between trade and piracy, stole from the strong granted mercy for to, to the weak, and even bought a couple of modest bought a couple of modest planets she never had predated herself. A century later fledging road trader whose name is now forgotten brutally crushed Jay, accusing her, her of abusing her power. The rogue trader conquered her worlds, extremed her people and did everything in her power to wipe Jay's memory and vulgar deeds from expanse memory. Once 
known for her passionate nature after meeting the Lord Captain Jane Fury refused to share her favor with all others who sought it. If there are many adversaries they had to together her heart belong to the rogue tra trader. Se se decades later glorious ship was pulled in on Kiavakama, which proudly became her new flagship of host von Valencius. The proud Jay vessel was trade Lady J. Cute. Inquisitor. Okay, he got to <laughs> being an Inquisitor. Hendrix von Galax continued to serve the Imperium and vanished under mysterious circumstances. Several years later, after receiving a signal encrypted with the Inquisitor, course he turned to unknown distant world, from which he never returned. I'm suspecting Satan had something to do with this. Your journeys with the rogue trader Cassie Auser experienced all the hardship and delights of the galaxy. Invaluable experience, new, a new college helped her to finally conquer her fears and accept her as, and her powers. The lady navigator began a novator of her house, tasked with addressing the consequences of this false rule and chaos that followed her disappearance. For the duration of her reign, she patiently worked and uniting all fading branches of the house, forging alliances and expanding the influence of House Arcelo. The stairway atlas, which contained the memories of Tisipon and Setalakan, lost its power. Hosor's Velocke navigators once again had to rely on skill alone in the depths of Immaterium. Many lost their lives, but those who survived the crisis became hardened veterans and pillars of the house. Most of the, uh, those fortunate souls were young and brave. Too few among th uh, them were old and wise. Kirillatas whose uncontrolled powers of witchcraft were subdued by Xenon device, began now beaming in the instrument uh, in the service of one Balancist dynasty. Once Livelli and character's woman became a shadow of her former self with his passing year. Her fate was lost in the darkness among the stars and chronicles knew nothing of it. Yeah, well, options here were like, like she's becoming a like door to the demons, so no thanks. Yeah, sad. Well, scream dark. Warhammer 40k is a grim dark. Only period for once Cassiel Orsherl visit this day old Idira resurfaced from under the impassive mask. Cassiel navigator powers enabled her to fill her old friend's mind with emotions, so they became friends. But they always faded soon after the navigation departure. In announcing the discontinuity of the cycle, Diamond at Collective instilled terror in the hearts of those who revert to theorems of purity. But it gave hope to others. After gathering his disciples and recruiting several soldiers from vassal planets, it ventured to the worlds of screaming vortex and infernal forges of dark mechanicus. Oh no! This march of the rain doctrination was meant to seize the stolen secrets of Omissaya, the hands of the heretics. Tempered the cult in the fire battle and transferred it a tool that brought a redactionist and comprehension. If it disappeared in the darkness, only ray echoes its astrophatic messages. Messages were ever intercepted. That was suicide mission. For many years, Yuri led the rogue trader's side, helping him disappear the secrets of lost Xenos traces, lending him the wisdom of her kind. Half a century later, she sensed that it was time to say goodbye. Path of the outcast had come to an end. The bidding farewell to her hero, Elantag, Yuri made her way to her surviving car. You really let follow the new path, Path of the Warrior. She only hoped she could never be forced to raise her weapon against mortals that became her true brothers and sisters in arms. Rumor is that Urilet and Pascala. Okay, interesting. But again, among the alien stars, Pendle Eldari warriors were trying to protect the interplanetary edifice from the, their people. From the covetous sem servants of Messiah. Upon learning that Yuri Telet was leaning Xenos Pascal, a person he descended in the planet and struck down his former former comrade in arms. Okay, interesting. Had that did not stir any feelings in his metallic heart. Okay. At the owning that Stormbiters, okay, <laughs> he joined them. Ulfar Thunderlong soon became pack leader, taking place of Thorbald, who made a horrible end. The new leader sent a message to the Fenris stating his intention to lay, remain in the Expanse. There were too many enemies yet lurking in those hurting, hunting guns that deserved all further's wrath. Legends paved that formidable back's path in gold. Years later, Ulfar found a battle 
which he could meet his honorable death. But the warp was suddenly torn asunder and ship of from friendlies bearing the mark of wolf head came to his aid. Saved from the battlefield by his low and companion Halbrand, <laughs> Ulfar accepted honors of the Dreadnought and was entombed in sacred armor. So he became a Dreadnought, nice. During the blessed ritual he cursed and demanded to left to his dead, but his brothers merely answered with, with merciful latter. Then he recovered his senses, but led his forces to the heathen stars. The Alf father had given him a new mission on the death near death vision. No one in the expanse had heard the word from Space Wolves since their departure, yet many believed that one day they will return victorious. It's rumored that true cast of Torbat's Ironhurst demise was this was treachery. Faced the superior enemy the Space Wolf cult the allies to help, but nearby squadron connaissance fleet we threw definitely broadcasting the event. The plot depth to Arkmagos Aranat is not forgotten. Okay. Such was the echo deeds of Rogue Dreadmon Hosman Lanasius, this that transformed the Chronos Expanse and prepared it for the events even darker and more violent. But those are events of different story. This one has come to an end. Okay, so. Good as for all cat games, this was pretty great game. It felt like uh, Baldur's Gate 3 of the 40k. I mean, there hasn't been 40k role-playing games, that has been strategy games. And there has been like lots of stupid mobile games. And card games. I mean, uh, Space Wolf is a card game, basically. Card game. So, good 40k games, well, after Space Marine, there were time where there were few good 40k games but this was good and this is the only one that's actually CRPG computer role-playing game and I like the story I like the writing and I like the lore I mean yeah, this was totally as far as uh, I can tell this was totally in line what's written uh, in the lore so Kudos for actually making hard subject to approachable. And I like the characters. I like the story. There were a lot of sto layers in the story, and and you didn't you focused on on the dangers and uh, catastrophe at hand, not the what the what the Theodora had done because it was really important what Theodora had done. And I would have loved that we could have given more hints about what the Theodora had done and how it went. Um, I like the idea that you can play Heretic and Pios Imperial and, uh, and, and yeah, Iconoclast. I, I mean, that was good, good remaining, remaining. Iconoclast. I think it was humanist in the beta version. So yeah, iconoclast is definitely right word for the for the person who isn't uh, much of pro anything. Uh, I think the humanism is almost dead in 40k universe. But I like and I think I played the, like I used to play. I I wasn't too much imperial. I was like opportunist, and that's good thing that it was actually. Um, actually, uh, game actually acknowledged that yeah, if you are not pro of anything, you are basically an opportunist, and that's the ro rogue traders are. They are opportunists, and uh, maybe I'll, I'll lower the volume here here a bit. So yeah, definitely, definitely, kudos for the for the game and. Um, yeah, good, good writing. Uh, the system was broken, much like in uh, in um, the FFG's fun Fantasy Flight games as a 40k role playing games, and this system was closely um, tied to them. S 
much similar system, similar kind of uh, mechanics, but then again they were a layer of the bonuses and whatnot. So you, in the end you are give, were giving a huge amount of buffs to your team and yourself. And that was kind of, for the game it was good, but for the times you, it felt like you were breaking the game. O of course it might be intentional, so, and, and the bugs, yeah, there were lots of bugs, clearly not as much chance to QA. Okay, okay now the, now the credits are rolling back, back again, but yeah, clearly this game didn't enjoy as much QA as like a Baldur's Gate 3. Of course, it's, it's unfair to uh, compare games with different uh, different kind of resources, different kind of management and different kind of uh, talents behind them. But yeah, I like this. This was good. I'm definitely waiting if there's going to be DLCs. They would be like really great. If there's going to be Rock Trader 2, yeah, I'm, I'm all, all for it, in for that. Because this kind of showed its promise. There's lots of stories you could tell of course, they kind of took the rabbit out of hat, so they were like crazy stuff in the 40k universe, like Satan. I mean, fighting Satan in the end, that's like most epic thing. It's like Uriel Ventris in the uh, Ultramarines Omnibus fights the Satan in the end, and uh, that's kind of, you shouldn't bring Developers kind of brought a huge, huge monstrosity, monsters, monsters to this story, and even the cult of fi Final Dawn. We fought the Final Dawn, and I was thinking, is this the end? No, it's still continuing. What, the, what the, in the earth? Why are they continuing after after this uh, final fight? So, yeah, this game could have enjoyed more development time, but in the end, it was very enjoyable and very long. Lots of lots of gameplay play in this. So if you are a hardcore fan of the 40k, yeah, I think this is good game for you. But if you are not really into the 40k, that's it's pretty daunting to start. Pretty l steep learning curve because yeah, they had like um, 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 meta text of the explaining what what's the emperor and stuff like that, but. Yeah, I don't. I don't think many people who are new in the 40k universe would be enjoying this game. But I, I like the characters. I dislike the fact that Argenta wasn't wasn't roman romanceable because fact is, uh, uh, battle sisters do not need to be. Uh, they need to be pious, but don't, they don't. Uh, they do not need to be. Uh, they don't have a uh, well, our Cass Cassidy. Chastity, uh, but then again, they have only one born for boyfriend, and that's uh, that's the emperor. So I kind of understand the point that they this game did go very very far uh, in the de depiction of many things like torture and incest and stuff like that. Uh, but it still didn't wasn't so explicit, and I think there's way too much of. Uh, non-exploitation based on the Sisters of Battle, so I, I kind of understand why they kept the uh, Argentas interesting straight character. Although I might have joined, uh, enjoyed more her story if it would have been really re revealed that she was actually betraying her, uh, had betrayed, betrayed her woes. Now it was like saint, saintly story, and yeah, sure, I, I like that one, but. It wasn't that surprising in the end. More like, mm -hmm, okay, I understand this. This needs to go this way. So yeah, definitely. But yeah, like the, I like the other rogue traders. They were they were great, but they kind of were introduced in, in late. So and you really, really didn't understand the point that you rescued the Caligos son at the start of the game, and that was kind of. Bummer, but yeah, 
a bit a bit of daunting at times a bit of lots of running around or sailing around uh, so yeah very a slightly old-fashioned game design in that sense that you need to run around and do side quests and I didn't do all of them then then the colony management I think it was to reinforce the point that you have lots of power as a rogue trader and that was great but it was becoming like uh, felt like pointless slightly pointless minigame but yeah uh, politics are always interesting uh, 40k politics we saw some some or some of them and it was really interesting but in the in the end you play as a player you are asking yourself why do I need to care and sometimes the game couldn't actually tell you why you need to care like uh, Yuri let's uh, betrayal I would have loved that she wouldn't have betrayed us that would have been like because it was it, it placed her in a bad bad light and bad sense and in the end she promised sacrifice first herself nobly and actually there were two, two, two chances for her to sacrifice herself nobly and that was great because I was asking myself why do I need to keep her on the team what's what's the point here and in the end yes it was um, they were given uh, reasons but at that time the story didn't give me much of the uh, reason why I should keep her with 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 with, uh, with us other than yeah that point point that she, she was kind of remorseful and and told that she would should have listened to humans my rock trader more than more than uh, dark eldari but yeah, I, I like this game. This, this was cool. Uh, it could have been a bit shorter. I, I think the it, it was made like 100 hours game, old fashioned style. And that took like, what, what is this? Uh, I made a YouTube series about for, for the Rogue 40k and uh, the Rogue Trader. And it's like, what, 37, 37, hours long so this was I need to check from the by the, by the way from the, from the steam how how many hours did, did this was but I think this went over 100 so lots of dialogue and lots of reading and if you like to read and uh, re read to, uh, like to read read aloud that was cool I would have lo loved that they had would have uh, developers would have voice acted a more of the this even the core situations, uh, core story, like like with the with the Inquisitor. So now now there's very few scenes that are actually voiceover. Then it's expensive, sure, but one can hope. One one can hope. But anyway, uh, kudos for this game. I, I'm 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 li really I was really liking this. Uh, Anyway, I'm going to shut up now. It's um, it's a, it's a bit late. Uh, I think I'm going to show you one other game tonight, but that's going to be shorter shorter uh, ad address. So I'm going to li leave the um, credits rolling and uh, be back in a 15 minutes and start start new game. Let's let make make it so.